Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series, and it's looking like Green-White Scales versus Blue-Black Eldrazi. Eldrazi is attacking in with Dimensional Infiltrator to hit Nyssa for two. Other than that, looks like he's played a Transgress the Mind, which got rid of a Mana Gorger Hydra. And he must have used Dimensional Infiltrator's ability to get rid of the Obzon Falconer. So he follows that up with an Eldrazi Sky Spawner. Goes back to Scales, who has a Falconer, two plant tokens, and Nyssa. And she is a very good Planeswalker, especially for how cheap she is. Dramoka's Command, Obzon Falconer to punch the Dimensional Infiltrator in the face. Now, he can activate Infiltrator here and possibly save it. And he can. He hit the exact card type that he needed. So, Infiltrator flips back to his hand. Falconer still gets the counter, so he's now a 3-4 flyer. And Scales follows it up with Undergrowth Champion. And minus 2 on Nyssa gives all of his creatures plus 1, plus 1 counters. And thanks to Falconer, they all gain flying. So this is actually a very big problem for the Eldrazi deck. Big enough that he concedes. Wow. Okay, let's go to game two. Okay, turn two, Oath of Nyssa for scales. And it took almost three full minutes of sideboarding before we got to game two, which I'm guessing was a lot on the Eldrazi player's part. He was probably siding in a lot of kill cards. Probably... Uh, a really good one to side in against Scales would be uh, Self-Inflicted Wounds, since almost every single creature you will ever see from Scales is either green or white. Transgress the Mind from Eldrazi. Gets rid of Gideon, ally of Zendikar. Leaves him with Obzon Falconer, Dramoka's Command. Wow, three Obzon Falconers, Dramoka's Command, and two lands. So, he plays one of them. So, can he kill off that Falconer? The problem is, is that he... Well, not necessarily a problem. I was going to say he's limited as to the colored mana that he has. Ooh, Bearer of Silence. That's a good answer. Make him sacrifice his creature and give you a 2-1 uh, flyer. It's too bad he didn't have an extra mana so that he could use ruins to make it a 3-2. But, you know, that'd just be greedy. Seeker of the Way. Not typically something you see in scales, but it works out here. Dramoka's command allows him to kill off the bearer, gain some life, and buff up the seeker to a 3-3. Three, three. But ultimately, it won't take a whole lot to kill off the seeker. Another bearer, uh, spatial contortion... Uh, ultimate Price, Self-Inflicted Wound, Eldrazi throws down Thought Not Seer, gets rid of Nyssa, Voice of Zendikar, leaves him with Double Obzon Falconer. He had enough mana to use Ruins to make the Thought Not Seer a 5-5, five, five, 
which effectively, well, I was going to say effectively means Seeker can't attack, but Obzon Falconer gives him flying, thanks to the Dromokas command and the 1-1 counter. So he flies in for three. Eldrazi will be down to 17. Eldrazi is still not in too bad a shape. The board isn't that bad. You know, 1-3-3 three, three, and a 2-3, not really that big of a deal yet. And he's got four cards in hand. Three cards in hand. Reality Smasher. Well, that's a very aggressive play. I'm sure it's probably close to his only play, but very aggressive. He can attack in with a 5-5 and a 6-6 Trample this turn, and that's going to be a lot of damage. Yep, he takes all of it. 11 to the face. Scales goes down to 13. And Obzon Falconer, kind of the only thing that he has at the moment, at least that we know of. And Scales is in serious trouble now. He is not threatening in the least. And he's facing off against some very big Eldrazi creatures. I'm trying to think, what would... Honestly, the best play here would be another Reality Smasher. That would almost guarantee a win. Another Bearer of Silence wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh man, another land. Just does not need any more land. Oh, is he going to pay for Rogue's Passage? Yes, he is. On the Thought Not Seer. And attacking all in. So Thought Not Seer is getting through. To kill the Reality Smasher, he has to triple block. So how are you going to stack it? He's just going to leave it that way. So one Falconer will live. But that was the best situation for Eldrazi that he could hope for. Scales is down to eight, and with one creature, he took out two of Scales. Oh, and Scales had a land, and he outlasts his Falconer, which leaves him wide open. I mean, he might not die this turn, but, you know, it's entirely possible. Nope, we're going into combat. Thought Not Seer attacks in for five, so Scales gets one more turn. Because, thanks to Rogue's Passage, next turn... Oh, come on, stop that. Next turn, he can just pay for the... Pay the four, make him unblockable... Oh no! Outlast Dramokas Command? Yes! Outlast allows him to buff up the Falconer big enough that Dramokas Command will let him get the kill. Response? Oh, negate! Perfect timing for that! And Scales concedes. That was his one... That was his Hail Mary, and it was shot down with a counterspell. Well, folks, I'm going to end the video there. That was Green-White Scales versus Blue-Black Eldrazi. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe.